Hi, everyone. A pet boxer was the best medicine. But tonight, a veteran still haunted by his service in Vietnam has lost his most loyal companion. A neighbor shot his dog. News Channel 5's Nick Barris is here with the exclusive story. Nick, these two were inseparable. That's right, Rory. Best friends. The circumstances right now around this shooting remain unclear. What we do know is this. A Vietnam veteran who suffers from PTSD says his pet boxer, AJ, helped him deal with his demons and truly gave him a peace of mind. Oh, Lord. There ain't nothing stronger than this pain right here. Wayne Lovell can't talk about his beloved boxer, AJ, without losing it. I mean, I can't sleep in the house. I wake up. Sweating, cold chills, crying, yelling, screaming. It's hard for anyone to lose a pet, but Lovell, a disabled Vietnam veteran, came to depend on his dog for so much. Lovell says AJ was there to calm his PTSD, to help his nerves from exposure to Agent Orange. He wasn't technically a service dog. He had not gone through all that training. But Lovell and his attorney, Kerry Gassaway, say AJ served a very similar purpose during the past 12 years. He gave me something of that. Hardly anybody ever gets in this unconditional love. And now they want the man who shot AJ held accountable. We intend to try to recover for the emotional damages for the loss of AJ. Lovell filed a criminal summons against a neighbor, Dale Taylor, accusing him of intentional killing of an animal. Taylor says the boxer came onto his property, went to his chicken pen, and... I shot him. To me, I mean, the dogs him killing my chickens and... Uh, but law, I have the right to protect my farm animals. Gassaway says that's not the way it happened. That photo showed the boxer was tethered in Lovell's yard when he was shot. That's AJ's lead right there, his runner. And you can see the blood spots on the concrete. So did the dog leave Lovell's yard or not? A grand jury will decide if the criminal case moves forward. In the meantime, Lovell walks alone and must learn to live without his once constant companion. It's almost like carrying an angel around with you all the time. You know? I mean, he was my best friend. Stewart County Sheriff's investigators decided there was not sufficient evidence to charge Taylor in this case, so Lovell took out the summons himself. Taylor, who says he did nothing wrong, did indeed turn himself in for booking and will make his case if and when this goes to court. But again, that will be decided after the grand jury. Here's the evidence in this case. And Nick, in addition, Lovell plans to sue Taylor in civil court, right? Yeah, this is going to be a civil issue as well, not only for the value of the animal, but he is an attorney, and, and his attorney, Kerry Gassaway, also want to sue for the emotional distress that he claims he very obviously there has suffered from the loss of his pet. All right, Nick, thanks.